Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can use our Raspberry Pi Pico W as a Modbus TCP client and we are going to read the remote Modbus TCP server holding register values in our Raspberry Pi Pico W. Okay, now in this video, I want the same. I want my Raspberry Pi to act as a Modbus TCP client and instead of holding register values, I want my Raspberry Pi to read the coil status inside it okay so we will program our raspberry pi in that way so it will act as a modbus tcp client and it will read the coil status from remote modbus tcp server or remote modbus tcp device so first of all we have to create our remote modbus tcp server so for that i'm going to use mode slave software modbus slave and then we will go to setup and then we will go to slave definition so instead of holding register we will create our server with the coil status okay so we will press ok here and then after we will go to connection and then we will connect and our connection type will be modbus tcp ip and the port number 502 and then we will press ok so our remote modbus tcp server with the 10 coils is up and running now we want IP address of our remote Modbus TCP server. So here I am not able to find IP address. Okay, so to find the IP address of my remote Modbus TCP server, I have to go to command prompt because this remote Modbus TCP server is running in my local system. I have to use IP address of my system. So IP config. So this is the IP address which I'm going to use in my Raspberry Pi to connect with my remote Modbus TCP server. Okay, so we will minimize this one and we will open Thony MicroPython IDE to program our Raspberry Pi Pico W. So here is my Thony. Now our program is ready. So we will just copy this program from our GitHub repository. Okay, so control C for copy and we will paste it here now you have to change few things here if you are using on your system you have to change Wi-Fi SSID and password okay so if you are using in your system then you have to put your Wi-Fi SSID and your Wi-Fi password and here you have to put IP address of your remote Modbus TCP server or remote Modbus TCP device so in my case this remote Modbus TCP server is running in my system and my system IP address is 192.168.1.5 so that is why I have used this IP address okay now port number 502 is a standard port for Modbus communication slave address is 1 as you can see here slave address is 1 coil address 0 and coil quantity 5 so we are going to read from coil address 0 to 5 okay so from 0 1 2 3 and four so we are going to read this much coil status in single request from our raspberry pi pico w okay so this is all and here we have created our modbus tcp client and here we are reading those values now let me run this code and we will see the result of this code so let me make some space here so you can see the output of our script Okay, so our Raspberry Pi Pico will first try to connect with Wi-Fi and once it is connected with Wi-Fi, it will populate the IP address of its own Raspberry Pi Pico IP address. Okay, and then after it will request data from Modbus TCP server and our Modbus TCP server is running at this location 192.168.1.5 colon 502 and you can see the status of coil from 0 to 5 so my all coil values are false so that is why you can see here everything is false now let me change the coil values of middle one to one and let me run this code again so it will be like false false true false false okay so false false true false false now let me make it true and let me okay leave it as it is so it will be like true false true false and false so run the script again
okay true false true false and false also you can use while loop here while one and you can continuously read those values here at interval of one second time dot sleep one and then we will run this script here okay so true false true false false now let me make it true as well so okay it should be true 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 false false okay so this is how you can read multiple coil status using your raspberry pi pico w and in this case your raspberry pi pico w is acting as a modbus tcp client which can read holding register values coil status values input register and everything from your remote modbus tcp server so i hope this topic is clear that how you can read coil status in raspberry pi pico w okay from your remote modbus tcp server so if you have any doubt any question any concern in this video you can ask me in the comment section you can also ping me on the telegram instagram and whatsapp so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video we will cover more topics from the pending topics okay so see you take care and goodbye